Hello everyone, welcome back to another Photoshop 2023 tutorial. This one going to show you how to reduce thick or bushy eyebrows as well as change the color, change the size with all of those things, not using selection tools like we did in the past. We're going to use artificial intelligence masking tools. That's a mouthful, but it's the real thing. So let me show you how to do this. It'll take about less than 90 seconds. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this stuff here. So let's just clear them. I'll get rid of that and we'll start from scratch. First step, make sure your image is a smart object. If it's not, just go right click and then convert to smart object. Now head up to filter and then drop down and grab the camera raw filter. They've got some new features in here. You don't want to touch anything here. What you want to do now is go over to the right side and select this one here. This is the masking tool and I'm just going to left click on it and then a couple things will happen. You'll get some of these options here. We're not going to touch those. We want this new people one here. Click on this and now look, we have the option to go ahead and select different parts of the person. So in this case, we're going to grab Kara's eyebrows and that's all we're going to work on. So I'm going to click the check mark, click create. Here we go. Now we are just working on the eyebrows. Again, I'm going to move down a little bit and here's what you can do. You can increase the exposure, increasing the exposure. As you can see here, you can get a really bushy look or you can get a nice uh, overexposed look. I like to ex increase the exposure a little bit, but you got to be careful with this because you'll start to see some uh, bright white if you go too far. And again, you guys can, I like to decrease the contrast to get a little bit of the bush out of there. So again, you guys can adjust this as you see fit, increase the highlights a bit, and let's go ahead and increase the shadows a little bit, but not too much. And the whites a little bit, and we want to pull the blacks probably, well, I just got to pull them up a bit. We just wanted to get rid of that bushy look. So let's go with something like that. Again, you can adjust that as you see fit. Finally, keep in mind, you can change the color of your eyebrows if you want that cool look. You want blue eyebrows? Go for it. Nothing's stopping you. And you can adjust that using the different hues here. Also, lastly, you generally want to go ahead and actually increase the saturation a little bit because when you increase the exposure, you get some white skin look. And if you increase the saturation, it just sort of helps kind of counteract that. And finally, down at the bottom, there's a few other options. If you want to have noise reduction up to 100, this gives it the drawn-on look, kind of like the pastel -y oil painting look. And if you go all the way to the left, it gives it even a more of a bushy look. So in this case, I don't know, we're going to go increase it a little bit. And uh, there you go. You can see here that you can do the same thing with sharpness. But something like that, let's go with something like that. Click on OK. And presto, this is the original, bushy, dark, less so. That's all there is to it inside Photoshop. Thanks for watching.